We're at the Sashoru de Shimayo. There you go, there's the build. Beautiful. Here we are, gonging at the uh, Sanctuary de Shimayo. There we go. For whom the bell tolls. Route back Willie. Okay, we are on the high road to Taos. Yes, we are. With Christina and Miss Thang. And we're at a little pullout right before Santa Cruz Lake, right after the um, village of Chunio. We're heading toward Trucas. And we're cold. <laughs> and, we're head, and we're heading back to the car because we're cold. Hey, I'm like, a, are you out of your my, I'm not seeing radio. <laughs> My vagina will freeze. <laughs> oh my it's not even freezing yet. It's not even cold. Well, imagine if it's 12 degrees. <laughs> All right, we're coming into Taos, uh, and it is what is it, the 23rd of January, 2021, and it's snowing like crazy out there. I'm gonna air down the tires a little bit. It's pretty slick and it's cold as, well, that's right at freezing, 33 degrees. And uh, we're listening to Pantera and we're making our way eventually to Red River. But we're gonna take a break in uh, Taos and get some coffee and some latte. Because there we go. I need a latte <laughs> and I need to pee. <laughs> and we're not gonna pee outside because <laughs> No, Why? No, no. Why? Because our our vagina will freeze. Okay, we are on the road between Cuesta about 10 miles out of Red River, uh, and it is snowing. So yeah, we're just continuing to climb. I think we'll have a pass up here <clears throat> before Red River. But yeah, you see the, everything's kind of whited out up above us. So there we go, that's where we're headed. Oh yeah, what well, she thinks you're gonna feed her. There's a mule deer in Red River. Yeah, that's a little yearling over there. Look how heavy his coat is. Okay, we're here at Red River and we are feeding the mule deer kale and carrots. And, uh, and they're pretty happy. Yeah, they're happy. I think they're good for that. All right, there we go. You have it on video. Shit. Well, Down uh, the main drag of uh, Red River, and it is the 22nd now. No, it's yeah, the 24th. 24. Excuse me. I keep going backwards in time. It's the 24th of January, and we're going down to get some uh, decaf latte with two squirts of vanilla. <laughs> and now I got to memorize. And then we're going to reverse course, go the other way, and head to Eagle Nest. So that's the plan for the day. And we're going to finish the Enchanted Circle loop.
are going down. We just passed Bobcat Pass, and we're heading down this uh, ski slope up a road. And my cameraman is uh, drinking latte and not taking pictures. So what am I doing? I am driving and taking pictures and video. So there you go. You didn't give me a chance. Yeah. I gotta hold up a flag. Say, please take pictures. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. We are coming out of the mountains from uh, Bobcat Pass, and uh, we're transitioning into this beautiful pastoral valley, which is um, coming into Eagle Nest here in a few miles. So you'll see. Actually, you can see the that valley where it's at down there. Yeah. You know, I can't quite see the lake from here, but anyway. Beautiful valley and uh, lots of beautiful ranch land and pastures here with all the fences. Can't tell that from the snow, but this is normally a, a big, this is a big cattle ranching area right in this valley here. All right, see ya in Eagle Nest. Okay, so where are we? We are at Cimarron State Park. I actually camped out that spot right there, number two or number three, I, can't, I think it was number three, right there, uh, in 2010 when I came up here and got my bike that I had left from the tour. And uh, here we are, we're trying to find a bathroom again. Why? Because we have 14 lattes a day. <laughs> Yay! No, that would be really bad. Okay. So once again, where are we? Well, we're at the bathrooms. No, we're at, Cimarron Canyon. we're at Cimarron Canyon State Park. That's where we are. And we're in New Mexico. This is north, of, slightly north of Eagle Nest. And that's actually where I camped out in 2010 where those four stumps are. That's number three. And yeah, it's a beautiful little creek running through here to the canyon. And what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to double back and go through to the Eagle Nest uh, State Park, and then we're gonna go to Angel Fire, and then we're gonna keep going. So, see ya, bye. All right, we're descending from uh, being at Cimarron Canyon State Park, and that's kind of the view of um, Eagle Nest Lake from the road above, and I'm gonna try to get down here to this little pullout and take a shot, but if not, at least I got this video. Just easing down here at this curve and I'm gonna see if I can pull out all right all right there's a nice view right there that's the view I wanted Eagle Nest Lake is frozen over people are ice fishing out there check that shit out very cool and very cold there we go we're at Eagle Nest Lake State Park we're gonna go down there and then access the lake just down there and then head on to Angel Fire, which is back that way. All right, take a couple of still pictures and move on. All right, so what in the world are we doing out here? Well, we're at Eagle Nest, Eagle Nest State Park. Eagle Nest Lake State Park. We got our wind break up and we are jet boiling chicken broth, salmon, veggies, rice, and sweet potato. And Christina's drinking chamomile vanilla tea. And we're watching the people ice fish. So there you go. That's what we're doing. Okay, so here we are with the uh, lake in the background. We got our salmon soup and uh chamomile tea and uh yeah we're having a picnic at about 22 degrees at 8,300 feet uh in new mexico in the middle of winter so why because we can okay, so there was our picnic spot right in the uh view beautiful view of eagle nest lake and the mountain above it 
So uh, yeah, we're at Eagle Nest Lake State Park and Okay, we are at the base of Angel Fire, which I've never been to before, and it is a happening place. I mean, they got fires where you can gather around. Look at that. And get warm, have a beer, and they got music playing. Fuck, I want to stay here. <laughs> this is the best place I've seen yet. I think, it's, I think COVID forgot this place. <laughs> yes. Finally, some energy, beautiful. Well, what are we doing now? <laughs> Not a damn thing, that's what we're doing. We're sitting here having a shock top and drinking hot chocolate by a fire right at the base of the Angel Fire Ski Basin with the music playing. So yeah, we're hitting, we're hitting on all six cylinders. Check that out. Awesome. Christina's going, let me out of this little, <laughs> let me out of this cage. <laughs> That's funny. Sometimes you gotta get off the porch and run with the big dog, girl. All right, we are on what I would call the lower section, the southern section of the Enchanted Circle. We have left Angel Fire and we're making the bend uh, back around probably at about the six o'clock position on the clock for the Enchanted Circle, heading back toward Taos. And let me tell you what, folks, it is snowing like a son of a gun. It ain't winded out, but it is snowing. You can see on the video and it is beautiful. And we're just, uh, we're just taking our time down through here. Okay, and we'll try this again. We'll see if the phone will stop while I'm videoing, but, uh, we're basically uh, making our way toward Taos, the lower section of the Enchanted Circle, and it's snowing, and it's beautiful. And uh, I will conclude this video before my phone shuts off again. So there you go. There's your view. Okay, this is what happens with a plan. When you don't have a plan, you just kind of make it up as you go, and your plan that you made up goes to shit. Here we are at the Lock Hueva Lodge, and guess what? It's closed, so we don't have a place to stay. It's snowing like shit, or snowing like snowing, and we're headed for Jemez Springs because we don't have a place to stay tonight. Why? Because I'm making this shit up as I go. That's why. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, we're driving in the snow, late in the evening, from La Cueva, which had no lodge because it was closed, to Jemez Springs, which has more lodging. So that's, that's the backup. That's plan B. I don't have a plan C, so we'll see how, we'll see how plan B works. Okay, so I got my computer set up and uh, him is mountain in room, the Baca. Has two twin beds out here and then a queen bed in there. And I'm gonna show you what the outside looks like because it's been snowing. Pretty cool. And it's still snowing. <laughs> so there's Miss Stain and we're up here. Nice patio. They got a fire pit down there and here we are in the Jimenez Mountains in Jimenez Springs. So there you go. Okay, we are leaving Jemez Springs. 
Uh, we stayed at that right there at the Jemez Mountain Inn. We ate last night at Los Ojos, which probably had the best chicken enchiladas I can remember having in a long time. We tried to do the cemetery, but it's closed. So we're heading back east. We're gonna backtrack and do some hikes along the Jemez River and probably Valley Calderas. We probably won't get to Bandolero today. Uh, we'll just do those hikes and then reverse and come back through here and head to Corrales and drop Christine off. That's the POTD plan of the day. Now what could be better than to be hiking down to these beautiful falls along Highway 4, Jemez River Highway, uh, right out of Jemez Springs, just east of Jemez Springs, in the snow. Look at the beautiful look at the beautiful snow it's really it's really like soft and flaky and you can smell the sulfur see remember i told you but yeah this is a soda spring and you can see that sodium bicarbonate that has solidified there and it comes from the sulfur and all the underground at some point all this stuff like heated up and flowed out of here and then solidified so there you go, and this is the Hemez River. So I have Christina here at the falls, holding her hat on. Uh, no, she's not a mobster's ex-wife, okay? I've, I've, I've concluded that. Can you say it is snowing like crazy? It's not whited out, but it is snowing hard. And uh, yeah, we're just going east. Uh, on four uh, back toward Valley Calderas but that we just stopped at what they call the soda soda spring or soda butte uh, took some pictures and some videos and uh, next we're gonna try to see if we can get into Jemez Falls which will be really spectacular in the snow and the ice and all that stuff see you there so look how pretty it is with all the little snow on the top of the trees and the white on the top of the dark logs and the branches and the dead trees. So it's white and red, white and green, and white and black, and white and brown. It's white and everything. Okay, so we're at Battleship Rock. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna cross the bridge down here and go over there and hike right underneath Battleship Rock. That's the plan. Okay, so here we are. We just hiked down here about 200 yards, and there is the base. We are at the base of Battleship Rock. Is that not cool? In the snow, in January. Awesome. That is a force of nature right there, baby. Cool. Listen to that sound, it's so soothing. It's like, it's like the Yellowstone video. You can go to sleep for that. Again, just listen to the sound of that.
Here we are on the uh, Los Conchas Trailhead uh, Trail along the East Fork of the Jemez River. And it's characterized, obviously the river is frozen over, but it's characterized by these beautiful abutments all along the edge of the river. And you'll, we'll be right in the middle of them right down there. So, you know, we're following the track of some lone hiker staying in his trail where he's already broke trail. So here we, we go. We're progressing along the trail here in the snow. It's the 25th of January, snowing like crazy. And uh, Christina is out here in it with me. So kudos to her. We're gonna go up here to a point, a junction, where it cuts up the mountain. That's gonna be our end point, and then we'll double back. See you there. We are back on four. We tried to go to Valley Calderas, but it was closed up because I'm sure because of the weather conditions. And uh, we're slowly making our way uh, back to May Springs. We'll have dinner there and then take Christina. Yay! Yay. Uh, take Christina back to Corrales. So that's the plan. And like I said, we're in, I won't call it whiteout conditions, but it's one level below whiteout, whatever that is. Gray out. Okay, here's a here's a little uh, anecdote for you. Sitting outside, 25 degree weather in Hammond Springs, New Mexico. They got no propane for the fucking burner. Why? Because this is New Mexico, and there's snow on the freaking tables. That's how cold it is. But they're serving food. And we're stupid enough to sit out in this shit and buy it and eat it. So there you go. But the buyer beware.